9% accurate results right in your hands. the love of our father to us the love of god that is never ending Amen. it's love never finishes no matter what we've done no matter where we have been no matter what our pasts are it's love does not even look at that the love of god does not even look at where we are coming from but he looks at us he looks at us as children he looks at us as he wants to see us and so this morning, there is every reason for us to give praise. There's every reason for us to thank God, because his love is eternal. Amen. Amen. The steadfast love 
of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning.
And if he has to judge by how much love we show to him and the things that are of his kingdom, if that is how he gauges the love he shows us, then we have no place. So this morning, yet again, I want us to thank God. I want us to give thanks and say, Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for the love that is not quantifiable. Thank you for the love that is never ending. Thank you for calling me your friend. Thank you for giving yourself for my sake. Shall we pray? Wow, and Father, that our God, you give us the glory. We thank you. Because we know it is only love that propels you to give yourself for us. And it is that love that makes you call us your friend. Thank you, Father. We Lord thank you, Jesus. Thank you for loving us. We thank you for your love. For your love that is unending. You for for your love us, that is Father. wonderful. For your love that thank is great. Us, Father, Father, we give you glory. We Show give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. You we give you all the adoration. We are grateful. We are grateful, we are grateful for the love that you show us. Smoke. We are grateful for the love with which thank you Father. deal with us. Father, we are grateful. We, we are honor you. Blessed yes, be the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Jesus, your love is great. Jesus, your love is great. Jesus, your love is great. Your love is great. In my own life, oh, Jesus, your love is great. Your love is great, Jesus, your love is great. Your love is great, Jesus, your love is great. Your love is great, in my own life. Jesus, your love is great. Brethren, I want us to give thanks this morning. The love of God, love God is great. I want us to give thanks for the love that we enjoy around us, for the people that love us. And for the people we love, for our household members, for love of God that reigns in our homes, shall we give thanks. Our Father and our God, we give you thanks. We give you all the glory. Thank you for your love in our homes. Thank you, Lord, for the people that love us. Thank you for the people that we love. Thank you for all our loved ones. Thank you, Jesus, for the expansion of your love. We have filled this to our homes. We give you all the glory because your love reigns in our homes. Your love reigns all around us. Thank you for your love in our homes. Thank you for your love in our marriages. Thank you for your love, oh God. We give you glory. Thank you for the people that love us. Thank you for the people that we love. Thank you for your love that reigns in our homes. We give you all the glory. Thank you for your love in our homes. We honor you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the love we enjoy. Thank, thank you because you we are able to give love back. Father, we thank you. We thank give you all the glory. Be thy exalted, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Amen. God of love, God of power, God of praise, God of science and wonders, we give you praise this morning. We say thank you, Father. Bible says, what manner of love is this that our Father has bestowed on us for us to be called children of God? Father, we appreciate your love. You died so we can live. You love us so much that you made us in your own image. Father, we appreciate you. Thank you for joining mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for unlimited benefit that we are enjoying you. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of the Most High God, we invite you afresh this morning. Take charge in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your glory, let your power tabernacle with us today so we can be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As I open my mouth to preach the word of God, Lord, preach through me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let that be signs and wonders, O oh Lord. Amen. 
those who are here to know you, save their soul today in the name of Jesus. Amen. What I pray this morning, those who are listening to us, wherever they are watching us, save our soul today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And open our hearts. Amen. Let your name be glorified. Amen. From beginning to end, let your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. May your name forever be praised. Amen. We have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Happy birthday to everybody. May we celebrate many more in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you this morning, the real love is the love of God. Yes. Did you wash your bumble? Ooh. God is love. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is love. Let's open our Bible to the book of John 16. John chapter 3, I beg your pardon. I'm going to read from verse 16 to 21. John chapter 3. I'll read 16 to 21. I believe we are there. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved he who believes in him is not condemned but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing it, for everyone practicing evil, it's the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. The last verse, verse 21. For he who does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. I love that the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If we read 1 John 3, I love that place. 1 John 3, verse 1, it says, What manner of love is this? The love of God for us is something we cannot explain. It's too big. No one can understand the love of God. There is nothing we can do to harm it. He just loved us. Bible says, when we are yet sinner, Christ the what? He died for us. He loved us first before we love him. So he said, what manner of love is this? That God has bestowed on us, for us, we sinners, to be called children of God. I want to start this message as I'm led now to call for those who are here to give their life to Jesus. Because according to that John 3, 16, if you are here to believe in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, you are condemned according to the word of God. If you look at that verse 17, he said, God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world, but he sent his son to do what? To restore us, to bring us back to God. We all need the story where man fell, Adam and Eve in Genesis chapter 1, 2, 3. God sent Jesus just to bring us back to, to his love, to his harm. So those who are here to believe in the name of Jesus, they are condemned according to the word of God. 
And it's very simple. If you are just to give your life to Jesus today, all you have to do is to respond to his love and to believe in his name. And I want you to listen to this very well. If you, are, if you cannot repent, you cannot be restored. If you cannot repent your sin, there is no way God can restore you. But if you are willing to repent, God will restore you. So I want to call upon everyone this morning or those who want to rededicate their life to Jesus. That God has come to you, accept me. Let's close our eyes wherever we are and begin to pray. Say, Lord, accept me the way I am. I've come to you this morning. Father, accept me. Begin to pray. If you are here to give your life to Jesus, begin to pray. And I want to encourage you after the service, if you are in church, send us a message through our Facebook page. We will get in touch and help you out to grow. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray that prayer very well. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Bible says in Romans 10, 10, For with heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I pray for those who have made up their heart this morning and those who have confessed Jesus is Lord. That God will uphold you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will accept you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We make the journey of faith to be comfortable for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And you and I will make it to heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. May your name forever be praised. Amen. In Jesus' holy name, we are praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is love, as we know. And God's love is in two ways. One, God loves us dearly. Secondly, his love for us is everlasting. There is nothing you and I can do that can stop God, can stop the love of God for us. There is nothing. There is nothing. His love for us is everlasting, and he loves us dearly. Let's take a look at it. God sent his son, John 3, 16, is a very popular Bible verse that we know. He sent his only begotten son to die for you and I, just for us to live, just for us to live and to fulfill the purpose of God for us on earth. That's, that's the reason. If not for the sin that happened in, uh, through Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis chapter 3, God made the plan for us to live forevermore. We should not die. But because of the sin, still because of his love, God find a way of restoring us, restoring us to himself. Truly, God loves us so much. That's why we have to respond to his love. Have to respond to his love, we have to accept him, we have to walk with him. So, before I move on, please never allow anything to deceive you, no matter what you are going through, and you think that God do not love you. If God loves you, things like this shouldn't happen to you. I will show us in the message. God loves you, and his love for you is everlasting. Amen. Amen. John 15, verse 13 says, Greater love. As no one than this, than he laid down his life for his friends. Greater love is what God has for us. That he laid down his life for us. He called us friends. He called us sons. What a mighty love. What a mighty God. And he has chosen us. Will be his vessel. That's why it's in, in that book, John 15. After the service, please find time to read. He said, if you do my will, if you do my commandment, then you are my friend. Because that's the only thing is God is asking us to do, just to do his will. He's not asking for your money. He's not asking for my money. 
The only thing that will set us free is the truth. You shall know the truth, and truth will set you free. Listen, and we all know this. The money that we pay, we pay tithe, we pay offering. We are the one using it for the work of God. We use it to pay rent. We use it to do things that we need for the church. I know some people are using it for their own personal thing. That's not what I'm saying. But we use it for the gospel, to propagate the gospel. God don't need your money. What God really needs from you is for you to respond to his law to do his will. And we find it easy to do his will in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I break the message in a way that is going to easy to understand this morning. I call it evident of his love. For you to know God loves you so much. Number one, he made you and I in his own image. In Genesis chapter one, at the creation, God made so many things. He made wood, he made uh, heaven, he made firmament, he made light, he made darkness. But when it comes to us, he made us. He said, let us make man in our own image. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let us. And he made us in his own image. What a manner of love is that? Take a, take a look at it, our children. We love it when they look like us. Is that not so? That's it. Oh, is that your son? Is that your daughter? You people are look, are look, you look, you are looking alike. Look the same. Look at twins. At times we meet some identical twins. For you to identify them, if you take prayer, that is what God did for us. He made us our image. Number two, He sent His word to us. We know that Jesus is the word of God. And as I'm preaching the word now, he's still sending his word to us. For God so loved the word, he gave his son, Jesus. And that way he gave the word, which is the Bible. The word of God is the Bible. So we must read the word of God daily. When you are reading the word of God, you are talking to God. And when you meditate on the word of God, God is talking to you. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's very wrong for a Christian to say, God, don't speak to me. I disagree. It's around 28 verse 1. If you will carefully listen to the word of God. So God is speaking to us through his word. God speaks to us in manners of ways. Trans, revelation, true dreams, true servant, in servant. In many ways. So we need to read the word of God and meditate upon the word of God. This is a two-way communication. So number three, no, before I move on, because God loves relationship. And we know that when communication breaks down between people, the only thing that we suffer is communication. When relationship breaks down, what actually breaks down there is what? Communication. So our relationship with God must not break down because we must talk to God. We must talk to God. But as long as our relationship is intact, communication is robust. So the word of God is, we must, we must guide the word of God jealously. We must read the word of God. I know many of us, we find it easy to pray. But we find it hard to read the word of God. I can say this boldly. In fact, we should read the word of God more than prayer. Because actually, the word of God is prayer. That's why we pray so many times. We pray a lot. We see no answer. Because we are not praying according to his will. But if we know the word of God, we will pray according to God's will. The Lord grant us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's read Revelation 3, 19. Another evidence of his law is when God corrects you, when God chastises you or rebukes you. It's a sign of his law. Revelation 3, 19. Those whom I love. Those whom I love. I rebuke. I rebuke. And discipline. And discipline. So be honest and repent. 
Can you see that? So when God corrects you, when God disciplines you, God actually loves you. But we know, we as human beings, we don't like that. We think God is angry. No, we can see that in the life of David. Went through rigorous discipline, all because God loved him. If God closed his eyes upon you, you'll be destroyed. And that's what God did to Saul. Our story never ended like that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Saul reigned for 40 years as a king in Israel. And the presence of God has departed from him for 38 years. For the first two years, the presence of God was with him. And he disobeyed God. And he refused to repent. That's why I say this. And I want you to underline this. Write it down. If it's the only thing you can get into this message. If you cannot repent, you cannot be restored. Saul refused to repent. And he was destroyed. But many times, oftentimes, David would go to God in prayer and fasting, seeking his face, begging him. That's what the Bible says in First, first Chronicles, Second Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name will do what? We humble themselves. And that's the purpose of his love. The Lord help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, because he loves us, he will provide for you. Philippians 4, 19. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. God will provide for you. Put your mind at rest. Your need, not your want. Many of us, we are praying for our want. We are saying, God, I need this, I need that. That's your want. That's not your need. Your need, God knows your need, and he will provide. And I can prove that God is faithful. God is what? He is faithful. He's, God always provides for our needs. He will never allow you to go through reproach. When we need something for the work of God, one way or the other, he will provide. But if it's your want, you're on your own. So we must know the difference. Needs are different from want. So it's love. True is love. He will provide for your needs. You will not lack in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not beg for bread in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Number four, Hebrews 13.5. Let's read Hebrews 13.5. Because of his love, he has promised he will never forsake us. He will never leave us. Even when we pass through fire, when we pass through water, he said, he will be with us. He said they will fight you, but they will not prevail. Why? Because I'm with you. I mean, he said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but in them all the Lord will deliver them. His presence. Let's read Hebrews 13, 5. Keep your lives free from the love of money. Mm and be content with what you have, because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. The Lord will not forsake you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. These are the evidence of his love in our lives, in our ministry. God will never leave us. He has magnified his word above his name. God will never leave us. As long as we continue to respond to his love, you cannot know God if you don't love God. I tell people, and I'm not ashamed to repeat it, I am very far from perfect. I go through temptations. But you know what? I love God dearly. I know when I'm troubled in my heart that I've done something wrong, I'm not ashamed to go before him that, God, I'm sorry. That is what God is asking from us. But if you cannot humble yourself, you know you have gotten it wrong and you refuse to repent. I don't know how God will help you. Don't be too big to humble yourself before the Lord. Well, with us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number five, Romans 8, 35 to 39. Let's pay attention to this. This is very powerful. Romans 8, read. 35 to 39.
because of his love, we are more than conquerors. Romans 8, I read from part 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? That tribulation or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Through him who do what? Who loved us? It's love. Like our sister said when he was leading us in prayer, his love prepared him to die for us. To everything that we are enjoying today, it's through his love. It's true, it's compassion and mercy. No wonder, twice in the Bible. Lamentation 3.21, Malachi 3.6, if not for the love of God, we will not be alive today. It's love. His love is new every day. Great is thy faithfulness. So we are more than conquerors. I continue, verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death or life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, or things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other greater thing shall be able to separate us from what? Love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Listen to this. Instead of you seeking power, seek love. I know we are told to pray. Ask God to empower us. But you know what? You seek God. The best way to touch God, to move closer to God, is to love him. If you come in true love, God will accept you. We enjoy God. God, God is love. The best of God is reserved for his lovers. Do you hear that? The best of God is what? Mm. Is reserved for his lovers. Now, I'm going to get there very soon. So we are more than conquerors. True is love. No dark power will prevail against your destiny as long as you love God. And if we say we love God, we must exhibit it. We must prove it. I say I love my wife. I know. People know you love her. But we must prove it. So we must manifest God's love as we do to our spouse. The same thing. You must not be forced to go to church. You must not be forced to pay your tithes, if you believe in it, to fast, to pray, to do everything according to his word, if truly you love him. Look at what David said many places. He said, I will not build the house for myself. Unto what? I built God's house. That is love. Saul will never do that. Saul will never do that. Few people in the Bible, Saul, Samson, I can't remember others. Those are, those are people who did not build an altar for God. Saul did not build any altar. And Samson, I don't know about others, but I'm sure of those two. Talk of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Abel, David. Many of them, even Saul, Paul. They built an altar for God because they love God. They, they know that without God, we are nothing. Everybody is celebrating Valentine today. It's good. I want to tell you, you see, it's very simple. Valentine is what? Every year thing. But God's love is what? Every day. It's every second. The Lord will grant us an understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number six, because of his love, he make all things beautiful. Make all things perfect. Romans 8, 28. For we know all things work together for those who love God. Romans 8, 28. And read it, please. And we know that in all things, in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. Yes. Who have been called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Do you love God? Don't look at what you are going through. 
He will make all things beautiful for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say we make all things perfect for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You cannot love God and go through reproach. Never. Never. And you, you can ask me, Pastor, but I'm going through. Even Pastor is going through. If it's the will of God, we have to go through. Do you understand? If it's not the will of God, you can't go through it. If it's the will of God, you go through it, for it will end in praise in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. He said in the book of Isaiah 43, verse 1, if you go through fire, go through water, go through tribulation, I'm what? I am with you. That is why what we need most is God's word. As long as you have his word with you, you have everything. Hallelujah. Amen. And the last one, number seven. God loved us so much that he has went to prepare eternal home for us. Let's read John 14, verse 1 to 3, and 2 Corinthians 5. Yeah, you can read it. Right there. John 14, 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Don't let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Yes. Trust also in me. Amen. In my father's house, there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. Amen. Amen. For God. So love the world he gave his only begotten son. You pay attention to that, John 3, 16 and John 14, 1. He talked about belief in him or trust. I find it clearly. I've seen it in people's life. Christians, they put so much trust in their pastors. They put trust in pastors. It's good to trust pastors. God Bible says we should believe in his prophets. I know. But you know what? Our trust must be in God. But God is the one that's using his servants. Let's put our trust in God, in his word. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in me and believe in God also. Believe in Jesus, believe in God. Let's put our God. And I think that means you are trusting the word of God. Know that the word of God cannot fail. Psalm 119, verse 89. Is it everyone not may pass away? But my word is said to a judge in my word. We not go and fulfill what God has said concerning you. It shall surely come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Continue to love him. Continue to serve him. And all shall be well with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We must love God passionately because he loved us. He loved us. He loved us so much. And the, like I said, the best of God is reserved for the lovers of God. 1 Corinthians Two and verse nine. Band of the service for today. One Corinthians, as two and nine. However, as it is written, mm -hmm. no eye has seen. Since eyes have not seen. No ear mm -hmm. has heard. No mind has conceived. What God has prepared for those who love him. Hallelujah. Do you love God? Ask yourself that question. That's what God will do. Things people have not seen before. Great and mighty things. Is God will do for you. So the best of God. Is reserved for the lovers of God. Look at David. God reserved him. God was preparing him. Maybe you are saying, but God. When are you going to help me? When are you going to answer me? God is preparing you for where you are going to. God prepared him. He put him there in the bush. Training him. For Samuel 16, when Samuel came, the prophet said, bring your son, seven of them. I have rejected. The Lord will not reject us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Is there any 
one left and David came. So at the right time, his love will bring you, bring you to position. His love will position you for where you are going through. You and I will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's continue to love God. And we cannot claim we love God if we cannot love one another. We must manifest his love on earth. Start in our homes, among uh, between our spouse and our friends, our family, churches, wherever we are. Let's carry the love of God. Love people genuinely. I know there are people they are hard to love, unlovely people. But you know what? We need to continue to love. I can say of my home, if not the love of God. <laughs> God, I know I can be, uh, can be something else, but his patience, his love for me is unstoppable. And you know yourself as well. If not for his love, his love, through his love, we are saved. So God took his time. He knows that one day, one day we get it right. So when we meet people like that in our ways, we have to do what? Walk with patience with them. Take time. They will get it, and we continue to pray for them. And the Lord will answer us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We must not give up on people. We must not give up. Maybe we are trying to preach to them to come to God, or you want them to come to church, and you know they are lying to you. We come, don't give up. As you are trying, you are praying. God, we come to our rescue in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. His love for us will increase daily in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. God, we help us to love him more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want us, I want us to give thanks to God this morning for his love. I've said God loves you daily and his love for you and your family is everlasting. So I want you to open your mouth and pray, say, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Thank, Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for, Thank you for loving me. Let's begin to worship. Let's begin to pray. Father, we magnify you this morning for your love. I thank you for your love. I know you love me. I know you love me dearly. Through your love, you saved me. You saved my family. You provide for us. We thank you. We give you praise. We adore you. We give you praises. We give you honor and adoration. Thank you, for your Thank you Lord, you sent your Over only begotten son to die Grace for me so I can live. Thank you. Thank you. Father, Through your love, you save me from sudden death. Father, Through your love, you provide for me. Thank you, Jesus. Through your Thank love, you, you uphold me, you Thank empowered you. me. Thank you. And you Grace called me to be your servant. What love, manner of love is this? Love, we appreciate Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We give Thank you praise. For us. Thank we give you honor and adoration. May your name forever be praised. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And so it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want us to pray one more prayer point as we go. You are going to tell God, let my life be a testimony of your love. Let my life, my home, my ministry be a testimony of your love. Open your mouth and pray. Father, Father in the in name, the of, name of, Jesus. of the Lord Jesus, Father, I pray, oh Lord, this morning. That let my life, my family be a debt of your testimony of your love. In the name of Jesus Christ. My life be a testimony of your love. People will see me in the name and they will praise you. Father, let the name of Jesus in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. My life will showcase God's love. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My life will showcase your love. My home will showcase your love. My life will be a testimony of your love. In the name of Jesus. Wherever I go, wherever I be, people I meet on my way, in the name Allah, which you bless your Lord, Lord, you will know that, you that I'm your son. So that our life in the name of Jesus the Christ. Of your Lord. Thank you, in Father. The name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And so it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our life will showcase his love in the name of Jesus. Amen. Through his love, we will live, fulfill life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever we lay our hand for they shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our life, our life, our home, 
we showcase his love in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The divine favor of God will overshadow our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will not walk out of God's love for our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will not walk out of God's blessing for our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Christ will return. We will be rooted in his love in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And as we go into the new week, the presence of God will go with us. Amen. We will make everything perfect. Amen. Everything good. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's our month of open doors. Every closed door is open already in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will walk in our breakthrough. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are covered with the precious blood of Jesus the Christ. Lord of Jesus. Father, we thank you once again. Thank you. We give you praise. Amen. Thank you for joining mercy. Thank you for strength. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your hand upon us. Thank you for your provision and your protection upon our family. Be that glorified, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Do you want to do the announcement? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. Give God all the glory for this beautiful day and we hope that those who are married those who are with partners husbands and wives would find a way to celebrate today we are in we can't go out there uh, we, we are we are in lockdown <laughs> but we are also in lock together yes so you are even though there's lockdown we can't go out you are locked together at home we can find a way to celebrate um, children, celebrate parents, parents celebrate children. Let's just celebrate the love, the people that God has given to us, love. You know, Jesus loves us, and so he has committed people to us also to love. So let's show love. And for those who are still waiting upon the Lord for that, for that person and for that time, come. continue to pour your love on Jesus. Mm. The right person will come. Amen. And the Lord will grant that request in the name of Jesus. Amen. So our services remain the same. On Sundays, we meet at 10 a.m. for family worship. Uh, this is Divine Assembly Ministries where Christ is our our example Amen. and there's no barrier for anyone Amen. so where destiny is safeguarded yes empowered and lifted amen hallelujah and on friday we have our bible study and prayers as god permits on fridays we, we communicate and then um, take it from there on Tuesdays, we have our Yoruba prayer, Uluwadam Lojo at 8 p.m. Let's tell people who love to pray in dialects. It's, it's not just us Yoruba, we've met people from other tribes and nations who says that they find it easy to tell God how they feel in their language. So if we know people enjoy praying in Yoruba, let's invite them. The Lord will answer our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I think that is it's also we are praying that God, God has unto us. If we know people who are unchurched, who are looking for where to worship, please tell them to feel free to join us. It's, this is a body of Christ and we believe in everything that the Bible teaches. And the Lord will continue to bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let's share the grace and unity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Say to yourself, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shout three powerful hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Go in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. And have a wonderful week. Amen. We meet on Tuesday by God's grace. Amen. Bye for now. Bye.